This is the easiest and the cheapest way that you can deploy N8N to the cloud. Now you might want to do this if you are starting to build automations for clients or if you want your workflows to be accessible from just anywhere or if you need a setup that can actually scale as your projects grow. And while it is possible to self-host and use N8N for completely free, that approach does quickly fall short when you are ready to you know, start building some workflows for clients, deploy automations externally, or just in general, scale your operations. And sure, N8N's official cloud hosting is super convenient, but as your workflows grow, so do the costs, which can get expensive very fast. So in this video, I will show you step-by-step step how to set up N8N in literally seconds using a cloud-hosted VPS, which stands for Virtual Private Server, giving you an ideal balance of affordability, scalability, and flexibility. Now this method, it lets you run pretty much unlimited workflows, scale effortlessly, and also deploy your work really anywhere without the hefty price tags. So let's just go ahead ahead and dive right in. Well, guys, the first thing we are going to be doing is just searching up hostinger.com slash VPS slash N8N hyphen hosting. And of course, I will just have the link down below in the description. So you can just click on that, save a few seconds, and it'll take you directly where you need to go, which is this VPS page. So we don't have to navigate through the site at the beginning and find all the different things that we need to uh, search through. Obviously, we'll just want to choose our plan and we'll be presented with all their different pricing. So KVM one, two, four, and eight. Obviously, the higher you go up, it's going to get more expensive and offer you more things like more uh, vCPU cores, more RAM, more gigabytes of NVMe disk space, and more bandwidth. So I found the KVMs too to be perfect for my workflows and also deploying my client projects. So whenever I work with or take on a new client, I sign them up with this plan and it's perfect for pretty much everything. You know, it's honestly overkill for some of the different things. You know, we're getting a bunch of memory that they're not even going to be using all the time. So KVM1 and KVM2 is probably going to be, you know, the ballpark where it's going to be perfect for you guys. Obviously, if you need more memory, then go with KVM2, KVM4, or maybe even the 8. But I have used other service providers like Alestio, Render, Railway. And with things like this, so let's take a look at their cheapest plan. Their cheapest plan, it's about $15 per month. And you can compare this with this KVM1. And, you know, the $7 plan, this is going to be comparable to roughly one of these two plans right here, which is going to be $28. And what is this one right here? So we don't even have this one unlocked. And it's similar with Render Railway. So, I mean, those are all things that I've used in the past, but not using Hostinger. So in any case, let's go within here and let's just choose the KVM2. It's going to be all we need and it'll take us to the checkout page. So like I mentioned, I partnered up with them. So I do have a discount code, which is going to give you extra 10% off. So if you use the one month, 12 month, obviously if you're going with 12 or 24 months, it's going to get cheaper as you're, obviously if you're going with the 12 or 24 months, it's going to get cheaper. So with 24 months, you'll get like a 60% discount code. So honestly, I would recommend going with this, but in any case, we'll apply our coupon code. So make sure to input Nick Peru within your coupon code at checkout. And I'm just going to be doing one month because you know I don't want to sign up for another 24 months when I already have one. So let's choose the N8N within our operating system. Of course, you want to choose your server location wherever you are, we're in the United States. We'll choose N8N within this OS, we'll click confirm, and then it's going to take us to our checkout page where I'll input all my payment and I'll come back to you guys in just a second. Okay, so we just finished checking out. Again, make sure it's to use that coupon code Nick Peru. And here you can install additional features. Um, we're gonna leave it for now, the Monarchs malware scanner, but feel free to remove it if you would like. We're going to add a password. So every time we come into our domain, we're just going to have to enter this password You know, when we try to log into the VPS. So let's just put in something random and we will be good. The host VPS name, we could change way later. But for now, let's just go ahead and continue and finishing this setup. So we'll click that and we'll be redirected to setting up our VPS. It'll take maybe two minutes. So I'll come back to you guys in just a second once this is all finished. Okay, well, this just finished setting up. It took about two minutes, like I said. And we could see here, we could go to our VPS dashboard. We could also access our terminal. So let's go to manage the VPS, see what this is all about. We're going to skip all of this stuff. We could see up at the top, right? We have the browser terminal. Let's see what happens when we open this up. So in here, you can mess about with any of the details as you guys would like. We're gonna close this off. We can see here, we are using Ubuntu. To, but of course, we want to focus on is actually setting up NNN. So let's go to manage app and it's going to open up our instance on a new tab. We can go to set up our owner account. So let's enter in all our information, put in a password and we'll go to this. Customize NNN to you. We could ignore all this. We're going to get started. So this right here, if you want to be able to actually play around with your workflows a little bit more when you are testing and 
debugging, I would recommend to send this off to your email and then put in your license key. For sake of the demo, I'm just going to skip all of this and show you guys. So this is pretty much everything. Now we can go into edit and we can play around. We can use MCP if we would like, go to set up a brand new server. If we would like, we can uh, add some agents. Just go to uh, AI, set up a tools agent. You know, I'm sure you guys are familiar with edit and by now and how to actually put together different builds. If you are watching this video and learning how to set up a uh, hosted account on a VPS. But yeah, guys, this is just about everything I wanted to show you and everything that you have to do. It takes literally two minutes to set all of this up after you add in your payment and everything, which uh, of course is pretty cheap. So we could go down here, we could explore Cody, their AI assistant, asking you any questions and helping you out, go to your settings, play around with all of this stuff. So if you wanted to, you could change your host name so you didn't have to search this up every single time. You could go to your operating system, check this out a little bit. You know, you're not going to have a huge need to really play around with all of this different stuff. You could find your API if you would like to generate an API key. We'll go and back out. And then we have the DNS manager. So if you want to add your own domain or anything like that. But yeah, that's essentially everything. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the description. So since finding this, this is what I use personally for our team and for our clients. So anytime we are onboarding, we send our clients a link to sign up for Hostinger. It's just the easiest way. I mean, being able to run things within a cloud, you know, if we do want to deploy it on a client's server, then we'll explore some different options and everything. But yeah, this is uh, so far the cheapest and also the easiest method that I have seen online. So make sure to sign up. I'll have a link down below in the description if you are interested in using this VPS. Also, if you guys do sign up, make sure to use my discount code. It's Nick Peru. I'll also have it linked down below in the description. So, but yeah, guys, so thank you for sticking around and I will see you in the next video.